All right. About to hit the willow flowage. We're all packed up and ready to go. Up north at, uh, in Oneida County at my buddy's father-in-law's cabin. Say hello to the guys, Jay, if they can even see you. What's going you. on, fellas? We're going to hit the flow, as Steve probably told you, try to catch some slabs today. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know how well you guys can see, but it's not even 5 in the morning yet, about 4.30. Well, we finally made it to the boat launch. It's getting ready to push off. Waiting for my buddy to park the truck and... Uh, Check this place out. No houses on this lake except for I think there's one or two on the south end, but that's it. 6,600 acres of just pristine wilderness. Hopefully you guys, maybe you guys can see though. couple of guys getting out fishing. This is as close you'll get to Canada without having to go to Canada. Gorgeous. I'll go through the middle right there. Okay guys, we got rained out yesterday. Um, we caught one little northern, and uh, as soon as we caught it, that was it. We uh, pretty much got skunked. So uh, we decided we hit this smaller lake, a little bit easier to navigate. Um, unfortunately, there are some houses on this lake, not as uh, nice as the willow, or as big. It's about the uh, 800 acre lake something like that 
but um, we're going to give it a shot and give you guys a look at the how the regulations change from lake to lake up here. I know I think hopefully you guys seen the regulations for the other lake, but I don't know how well you can see it. But hopefully we have uh, better luck. <coughs> uh, not a very big uh, parking lot here, as you can see. For our boat trailers, we're getting a late start today, but all we could do yesterday was sit in the cabin and twiddle our thumbs, play cards, and uh, watch the hockey game. So uh, we're just getting... My buddy's getting everything sorted away here, and we're gonna get on the water. Hopefully, catch some uh, catch some fish. I don't care what we catch: northern walleye, musky. We're gonna try to target the panfish. We're thinking that might be a little bit easier today, and hopefully, uh, we'll get going. Well, the lake didn't skunk us. whoop de doo yep, Chuck them back. It's a tiny northern, like a 12-incher. It'd be cool to keep an aquarium, huh? Well, guys, we starting to kick the skunk now. Got a little bluegill here. But look at the belly on this guy. Woohoo! All right. Hopefully, we get a mess more of these. Sorry, guys. I wish I'd get more of this on film, but we are slamming some really nice gills here. I'll show you the aftermath. Me and my buddy Jay. Nothing else. Go for the bluegill, huh? We'll have a nice fish fry at least. A decent sized one. Too bad there. there we go. <coughs> another one. Nope, another one. Jason got one on. Oh, nice one too. All right, let's get this. Oh, yeah. Get this one going. Man, we just been. We found the pocket finally. Oh, oh! Here, go. cheers. <laughs> Bluegills, cheers. All right, let's get them in the bucket, man. Hey, at least we're catching fish. I know That's you don't. Nice one. We don't come all the way up north just to catch bluegills, I mean, but if you're getting nice ones, how can you complain? Yeah, these are keepers. My buddy Joanalo, he catches ones like that. He's like, ah, too small, throw them back. I'm like, man. All right, yeah, we got a whole cooler full going. There we go. We're gonna have a nice fish fry out of that, buddy. Eagle, dude. I don't know if you guys can see the eagle. There he goes. He landed. Okay, guys, about to have some uh, some lunch here. We got pork and beans. What else we got a can of? Vegetable soup. Chunky beef with vegetable, country vegetables and soup. <laughs> and leftover That's brats. What it looks like. Jalapeno brats and uh, mushroom and wild rice brats. Oh, I can't wait. That's going to be good. <laughs> we got a live well for them. Maybe what, 12 bluegill in there? 12 nice sized bluegill? Yeah, for a meal. Yep. Hopefully this afternoon we catch some nice fish. Good deal. Mm, Not bad, eh? Pretty good for some, uh, what is it? Pork and beans, beef vegetable stew, jalapeno brats, 
and chicken, I mean, uh, wild, rice. wild rice and mushroom brats. I'll stick with you all day. I don't think our wives are going to be happy when we get home. <laughs> Pab's old style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pab's old style baked beans. <laughs> I know my grandpa smells in one. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, though, brother. Good times. Yeah, I still got them. Let's see. We haven't pulled a, what I would call a dinky dink out of here yet. So let's see. Oh, another nice one. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a dinky dink. Double hookups Damn, on Joel. the bluegills. Yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> SOB is what he meant to say, guys. SOB. Say. Ah. Oh, cheers on the bluegills Ooh, again. Look at that, dude. Oh yeah, getting some tubbers. Well, for me, <laughs> good Look, fryer. Yeah. They're not. It's not a massive bluegill, but they're nice. Look, definitely nice. Hey, let's see who's bigger. Uh, uh, yours is bigger. Only a little bit though. Only by a little bit. Just a little bit bigger. Good stuff. There we go, guys. There's a nice, beautiful bluegill there. I think I'm gonna throw him back, Jay. What do you say? Yep, I'll let that one go. Look at the colors on that. I hope my camera picks up the colors. Hey guys, we ran into the wow. DNR biologist and he's measuring about five of our gills. 8-0. Eight, 8-0, oh. eight, oh. yep. That's There's a big uh, green sunfish in there and he is wow. he is a tub. We caught a couple perch. We're going to use those for northern bait, but we I just remember and uh, we didn't throw them back. But we'll get a couple little fillets out of them, get use out of them. Yep. What was that one? 7-2. Seven, 7-2. Two. Seven, two. Oh yeah, there you go. You guys get them on crawlers or what? Yep, just crawlers. 